All right, well, it looks like the game's plot is actually getting kicked off. So the rats are coming, and now we have to sneak past them to get to the watchtower to alert people that the rats are here. Okay, so stealth is going to be the name of the game, so is our scent meter from what I gather. We also got to make sure our scent doesn't carry over. Okay, so, oh, here we are. Weasels, ferrets, and the like. Interesting. Shoot, my scent's carrying over there. We don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, that's not good. All right, well, we got to find a way to sneak around them. Now we're officially in a rogue light game. <laughs> Unless I can shoot them with my slingshot. Actually, would that be... It's probably not the best idea. Okay, here's an idea. So we have to speak with the friar at the Sexton's Hill. They tell me to go quickly. I'm not sure if that act time limit has anything to do it with it, but all right. Uh, what have we already read? Oh, I, re I already read that. I read the survival tip. Uh, porridge Feast, Redwall Abbey, uh, invites you to participate in a special winter porridge feast in Cavern Hole. Due to some unfortunate, but, uh, emissing, what, what is that word? E, M, I don't, man, I can't read that cursive. I can read cursive, just not that cursive. But un amusing, that's what it is, but amusing circumstances. The Abbey finds itself with an excessive surplus of delicious porridge. There are simply not enough bellies to eat at all. We would delight in your aid, uh, in your aid and company. All right, wishing you well, Abbot Mortimer. Abbot Mortimer, what a guy. Okay, away on business. Oh, wow, it's a cute little drawing. Uh, deliver to Dorabelle of Lelugri. Ahoy, me florer. The children miss you something fierce and spent the whole afternoon making these here charcoal sketches for you. They wanted me to draw something too, but else they, else there was uh, riggin' to rig and pivot, pat, I can't read, man, I need to brush up on my reading other people's cursive. And belly to patch. That's not to say I don't miss you, but I have to be strong for the little lady, eh? The voyage is going well. Should be home in one... In a moon, my uh, winds notwithstanding as they are, and I know how you feel about trinkets, but I couldn't bring myself to leave the thing behind. You'll see when we return, but I think you will be impressed by the thing. I better get to the little uh, ones some vittles before they uh, rish area. I can't read all that. I wish be belly. Looks like she is on the moon. Looks like uh, sea bass is on the menu tonight. Lightly buttered, melted, and herbed. Oh, seaweed, and it's juicy and fried and crisp as well. Are you drooling yet? I am, and I think I got it on the letter. Apologies. Love from the family, Nilly and company. I assume that they're otters, based on the way that they're talking? All right, well, no, those definitely look like mice. And, uh, I guess I guess everybody can have a secret date. Greetings, this is Laban. Never mind the suspiciously, uh, fraby looking handwriting. Nice weather, wouldn't you agree? The snow at fr night frosts up in such a way that the meadows look fur-coated with ice. Lily Grove looks right pretty from the watchtower. If you ever fancy a look at the sunrise from up there, as the gate guard, it can be arranged. I wanted to check in on you and send my regards. Rumor has it that you're feeling a little under the weather. Wishing I could be there for you, Laban. Okay. Cool, cool. But, uh, how do we actually, you know, like, get past this part here? So it doesn't look like the guards are actually, like, moving at all. Yeah, the guards are not moving. They're just standing there. Oh, the, the textures are a little messed up there, but what you gonna do? Where'd the music go? Can I shoot him? Hmm. 
There's probably something very odd. I can't just... Oh. <laughs> okay. Hit bells with the slingshot. All this shrubbery makes me nervous. I can't see through them. All the smells get all cool. What is that? Right. Church bells? Let me have a look, see. I love the voices they gave to them. You hear that? Sounds like twinkle bells. <laughs> Twinkle bells? <laughs> they gave the rats the perfect voices. Okay. We gotta move quietly, lest they hear. Alright. Please don't... Oh, shoot. I'm out in the open. How long are they gonna... Okay, how long are they gonna be hanging out by the bell? That's part of the question. Shoot. Don't go in the shrubs. Unless we're very, very quiet. Are they just gonna hang out by the shrub- like, the bell forever? They know nothing's there. Okay. My scent is not carrying over to them. I'm gonna assume that they just hang out there until we ring another bell. Alright. Very, very quiet. They apparently don't notice. Cool, cool. Making sure... We okay, the wind is blowing this way. We don't want the rats to smell us. That would be bad. Yeah, so they're just literally forever now at that bell. They cannot leave legally. Oh, jam over there. We're gonna jeopardize the mission because I want the jam. <laughs> Again, they gave the rats... The perfect voice. I don't trust this. Shoot. That's not how it ends. We got saw by a rat. Ugh. I wasn't expecting him to move in that way. That was on me. That was very stupid. I should have known that they're just still occupied there. It's not a big deal. That guy is a problem, though. So maybe if we go behind these... I want the jam, though. I really want the jam. Okay, we can get the jam. We can get the jam. Wait, what? That's not how it ends. Oh, no. He actually can see past his nose. It's not like Majora's Mask. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No, we can, we can deal with this. We just got to find a way to slingshot that thing from a spot where they can't see us. Oh, thank goodness. Ugh. Man, the rat placement here is actually, like, smart. Ugh. Come on. He thought he saw me, but he didn't. Okay. Ring the bell. Yes, they move away. That guy's patrolling between those two areas. That's fine. We wait for him to turn around and then we book it. Come on. Guess we can't run if the rats are in the area. I caused two time paradoxes to get this jam. I wanted to smell the jam, though. Okay. There's got to be a bell around here that we can uh, hit, because this rat is definitely going to be a problem. Unless we just hang out in the bushes perpetually. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, my gosh. Liam, please move more quickly than that. See, I thought they were going to make a bigger deal about the rats being able to hear you if you were scurrying in through the bushes. But apparently the rats are, uh, well, they're not the brightest. Okay. Okay. Oh, I learned the smell of lilac.
What's he saying? Darn it. Okay. All of the scents are blowing that way. I'm pretty sure if I step out of the bushes, he's immediately going to see me. Can I shoot him in the head and knock him out with my slingshot? He's on patrol. Uh, so if I pre I'm pretty sure if I press X here, I'm gonna get spotted, but... Okay, I got spotted by a rat somewhere. Did it save that I got the jam? Yes, it did. Cool. Alright. I'm very noisy, but nobody cares. Ugh. Okay. Complete. We snuck past all the rats. All of them? Watch out for mouses! Of course! Okay, how do I run again? I forget which button is run. I, or maybe I just can't run at all. No, I can't run at all in the stealth sections. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I love the dramatic music every time we crawl through a, a space like that. Okay, we really gotta be watch out for where the wind is. Oh! Okay. Wow, Clooney apparently has female rats in his, uh, in his crew. I thought that didn't happen until the later Redwall books. All right. All right. Wait, which one saw me? I am confused. Oh, man. I, so, I'm very bad at rogue uh, light games, apparently. Oh, wait, there's more jam. We gotta get the jam. Okay. I think the orange icon is my scent. And like, oh, the rats caught your scent. Which obviously we don't want. Wait, how do I, how do I get the jam then? Okay, I don't know how the rats are spotting me. I'm trying my best to keep away from all of these freaking walls. See, I would never survive in this world. <laughs> I'm very bad. Okay. Okay, so there's one rat there. Okay, so we wait for the rat... To move out of the way, okay. Now we can do this. I think we're safe here. I don't think he can spot us. Nope, he can definitely see us. Man, sometimes it's like, oh, he this guy can't see us over the fence. Which is a little weird, but then this guy could see us when we were literally hiding out of sight behind a bongo drum. I wish it was a little more easy to tell at a glance what stuff will hide you and which stuff will not. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sewing needles. Uh, oh, oh, that was close. We got a bunch of books out here, too. Don't waste this time reading books. Reading's a waste of time, that's what I say. Don't throw those in the river. Or... Don't throw the books in the river. Uh. She faced for the wall. Okay, well, if he hadn't faced for the wall, I probably would have been okay. Man, this is tough. You gotta keep track of like five rats all at once. And there's not a single space where it's just like, oh, none of the rats will be able to see you. You constantly have to be on the move. And I <laughs> Okay, well, that was on me. I'm getting just sloppy now. Look, you can see me. Ooh. Berries. That'll make me stealthy, right? I still want to get that jam, by the way. That's going to be really hard to grab that jam. I wish I could go a little faster. Okay. Are you gonna move over to the left towards the Christmas reef? No, you're not. Okay. Well. I feel like there are times where just nothing will line up correctly and you're gonna get caught no matter what you do. But I'm probably just bad. I'm saying that I really should have a run button. I guess this is kind of a safe spot. Come on! Okay, may... You know what the definition of insanity is. If you keep trying the exact same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, you're insane. So maybe... Maybe I need to try a different route. Maybe there's a much safer route to do that I'm not thinking of. So that is literally just a dead end. So there's no point in doing that. What about if we go closer up this direction? Okay, if we stay here, the my, the rat over there can't see us. That the lady who's talking when she turns away, we got a golden opportunity. There we go. See, I was doing it incorrectly. I was distracted by the jam. That that was my problem. Okay, let's take a look at our surroundings. So we got a rat over there standing watch who's not moving. So we can't go through that way. But we can hide behind this cart. Okay. There we go. See? If you're having a hard time doing the same thing over and over again, try something different. That's, that's what we gotta do. If something seems unfair, then maybe it is and you're just doing it wrong. Oh yeah, this way was way easier. There are like no guards this way. But I still want to get that jam. That's the issue. I don't know which rat was about to catch a whiff of Oh, that's the rat. Whoops. Sure I thought the car I thought the cart was going to protect me a little bit better than that. Oh man, the checkpoints are are a little brutal though. I want that jam, though. I can't let somebody else win the scavenger hunt, like, of the uh, thief core or whatever it is. Okay. If only I could get a bird's eye view. 
I hope everybody likes listening to that rat say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Made for myself. <laughs> no harm in that. Just this freaking scum snout. He wants to keep it all for himself. Okay, so jumping, even though we make a vocal grunt, apparently is the way to go a little bit faster. Okay. That rat's out of the way, but now we gotta wait for the female to. Do the pace back and forth again. Darn it. They're kind of uh, synchronized together. Like, every time she turns away, this guy pops up. Okay, no, they should be a bit synchronized now. Okay, that's the rat that freaking phases through the wall. I gotta say, I think I see a little bug in the pathfinding in this game. Oh my gosh. Okay. The camera's not great here. Okay. That rat's turning around now. <gasps> Darn it! I want the jam! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now, Liam, I know I said that the collecting the jam for the scavenger hunt was a very important part of the core, but we are literally under attack by Clooney the Scourge and his rats. So, that's kind of out the window. Priority number one is getting everyone to safety. Oh no, I see the jam. I have to grab it. Liam, there are lives at stake, but there's also jam at stake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Liam should not have been uh, promoted to be a head scout. Okay. That guy can't see us. We got this dumb rat over. Wait. I did not think he was going to go that far. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got this. We got this. How could any rat have possibly seen us? Oh, yes. Here we go. We go up on the roof. Up on the housetop. Reindeer paws. Out comes two-dimensional old Santa Claus. Raise the roof achievement. Climb on the farmhouse roof. The pirates. Okay. Why does that keep saying ex- Oh, is it because he can smell me? Wait. Could he smell us from the top of the roof? That must be it. But apparently smelling us doesn't actually do anything. Yes, jam. Oh my gosh. Double jam. This is worth it. We got eight fiends of jam. Oh, yes. Okay. That was actually a fun puzzle to figure out. I think the pathfinding on the rats is a little bit broken, but I mean, hey, it's not that big a deal. Most of that was user error. Wait. Okay, why is there like the, oh, you should go over here signal? Probably because I should go over there. Will this guy see me if I'm on the housetop? Up on the housetop, click, clickety click, and I'm gonna, f I'm gonna phase through this just like Rag here taught me. <laughs> I'm the amazing interdimensional rat being. I'm the number one in Clooney's army. 
He'll give me a bigger share of the cheese tonight because of that. Who are that he will? <laughs> yes, we got for the farm. Ooh, is that more jam? No, it's okay. It's a clue though. New lore, beauty tips. Oh, we got we got to read more of the lore. Beauty. Oh, yeah. Beauty tips. Play the Wever Vein, 37 northeast, minus 12. Fish is fantastic for the fur. Doesn't have much the smell of a refined gentle mouse, but generous servings of fish in one's meal can help tame wild scruffs and imitate the luminous sheen of fish scales in moonlight. If fish just isn't in your light list of likes, try soaking in sage water. Smells as dandy as a warm summer night and softens even a hedgehog's bristles to be as cozy as a goose feather. Ah. Uh, ye old stuff. Actually, what what else could, should we read? Uh, uh, new ante. Uh, Farglove, Farglove, Mum and Dad. I am writing to let you know that you are officially an aunt. As of late last night, I have an adorable baby boy. Uh, Penny Royale is still something... Er, Penny Royale is still something, uh, something for the perfect... It's still searching for the perfect name, but I just couldn't wait to write you. I am so excited. Soon we'll be able to plan to visit you all now to meet him. I would be speaking falsely if I didn't admit I miss Lily Grove the slightest bit. I miss the sound of the falls and, <laughs> and the way the wheat swells on a hot day. And most importantly, I miss my family. Sorry to, uh, to be brief. We'll write again soon. Love, Fritifalily. I butchered that. What else is new? I ain't British. <laughs> uh oh. My scent will be masked with the scent of the fish heads. <gasps> Climb in the barrel. They'll never see it. That was cool. The rats were kind of stupid, but kind of not. We crossed the- Wow, crossing the bridge was way easier than crossing the farm. My goodness. New mail. Tale of Winfrey Collywobble. Oh, yeah, we're just stealing everybody's mail. Okay, so we've got a mouse, a squirrel, and a badger. The different heights for the different mailboxes. That's actually a nice touch. Oh, I can run again. Oh, we're back in Lily Grove. New lore, intel from Sparrowblade. Hey, I had to use the, the loo. Just ate eight fiends of jam. I, don't, I have no idea what that guy's moaning about, but I'll give him his space. We've all had moments like that. No! Yeah. Wow, the bonfire is uh, doing great. Okay, there are rats here. We do need to be on the lookout for that. Eh? What are those rats plotting? Oh, I can't quite hear them from here. Huh? My oldest brother was the first in the River Mouse line to be buried there. I suppose someday I'll be there too. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try to eavesdrop on the rats. Get more of the oh, lore. The scout found themselves with a curious dilemma. Was it worth taking the time to somehow save the good friar's home, or was it more prudent to slip unnoticed towards Lily and onward to the lighthouse? I once heard you say. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. Is that what you're getting at? Oh, okay, it's optional. Well, if it's optional, I want to do it. If if it's not an either or, but we can do both, then I'll try that. Get 
Okay, so when we automatically go to the stealth portion... Ooh! I found Foxglove's Diary! I'm just gonna sneak that here while I'm hiding for my life. As painful as it was, there just wasn't time to intervene in every conflict along the path. The choice to continue weighted heavily on the young mouse's heart, but time was of the essence. What? I'm heading towards the friar's house right now! What do you mean it was failed? I I am literally heading towards his house right this minute. Or is it like, oh, you weren't fast enough because you picked up the diary? The minute you let your laziness get the best of you. Now, let's get moving. Okay, well, if it says I failed already... No, there's jam up there. Okay, hey, dude. How about you stop looking this way? You didn't see me? I'm, I went into the bushes. I do this. You can't even hear the rustling of the leaves right next to you. I can't believe he didn't see me. Oh, I should probably be shooting bells. Just remember that. was worth it. Da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. Oh man, but I need to get it to the jam. Okay, can I distract them by doing something else? I still don't know why it says I failed to save the friar's home when that's the direction I'm going. Unless that cutscene was very misleading. Where it's like, do you go to the watchtower? Shows the friar's house. Or do you save the friars? Shows the watchtower. Oh no, can I not get the jam? Did I ruin my chance to get the jam? No, oh, we won't win the freaking jam contest now. I am the worst scout. Also, can we please get the run button back? All the rats are just like, Crimey Christmas! We gotta fix this rope ladder now! There we go, thank you. Hello, Mr. Rymaid. Rest assured, I will find your precious daughter. I swear it. Oh, that was sad. Crimey Christmas! Why did they stack 800 logs on this freaking trapdoor in the treehouse? Then it just magically sprung. Oh well, let's not question it. We gotta get to fixing. Before Clooney gets back. Pay your respect. Visit Jacques' tomb in The Pirates. Oh, hey. Peace and blessings, Mr. J- Oh my god! That is freaking Brian Jakes, the offer of Redwall in mouse form. Imagination is a gift given to us from God, and each one of us uses it differently, Brian Jakes. So here is my story. May it bring some smiles and a tear or so. It happened once upon a time. Outside the night wind, keens and wails, come listen to me, the teller of tales. Brian Jakes and Lord Brocktree. I love book signings. Kids waiting in line for you to scribble on their new books. Ha <laughs> ha, Brian Jakes. <laughs> Don't be ashamed to weep. 
Tis right to grieve. Tears are only water. But there must be sunlight also. A wounded heart will heal in time, and when it does, the memory and love of our lost ones is sealed inside to comfort us. Brian Jakes, Tagarun. Man, I gotta say, the, the this entire place that they put in, just as a remembrance and like respect for the original offer of the series, that's absolutely fantastic. And this is actually making me somewhat emotional to see that. Good on you, developers. Good on you.